I spent 1,187 euros and 47 cents and countless of hours finding the perfect cherry red items to see if this trend lives up to the hype. The biggest question is how much of this will I end up keeping and how much will I end up returning? Starting off this try on haul with an item I'm sure I'm going to keep, which is this beautiful short skirt. I used to be such a maxi skirt lover, but as of late, I've been gravitating more towards shorter skirts. I feel like they flatter me better. Okay, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I actually find that the cherry red is a really good trend in the sense that it's a color. And why I think colors are good trends is because you can just implement it in your personal style. So for one, if cargo pants are in fashion, I you wouldn't see me in those. That's not my style. I wouldn't buy them just for the sake of it. But a collar that's a trend is really convenient because you can just implement it in your personal style. So maybe you do love cargo pants. Maybe you can find some cherry red cargo pants. For me, I do love this kind of skirts. So it's really easy for me to implement it in my own wardrobe. And I think that's why this is a good trend because it's such a beautiful color i am a sucker for red i my my nails are also the same color um i bought that last winter so i seem to be ahead of the curve you know sometimes i order something and i feel like it has potential the way it looks online but i sometimes hope it looks better in real life with this one looks better in real life so this is a beautiful honestly pinterest jacket of my dreams i feel like i've had a jacket like this pinned on pinterest for god knows how long and it's sublime. It really took me by surprise when I tried this on. I didn't think I'd love it so much. I honestly, when it arrived and I opened it, I was like, yeah, it's nice, but I probably won't keep it, you know, like, I probably won't need it. And then I tried it on, I was like, wait a minute, I'm vibing with this. I love this color. I feel like this kind of color tone is really flattering on me. I also enjoy the buttons. If you've seen previous videos of mine, you've heard me say that I'm a sucker for a good button detail and these are just beautiful. They are very seamlessly added to the jacket. They really go up in the jacket. It also has actually pockets that you can put your hand in instead of fake pockets, which I do love. Next up, we have this very long maxi skirt and I think this is so beautiful for around the holidays as well. And when I first tried on the initial time, I really liked the way that it looked. I was wearing a crop top on it and I wore a black blazer over it and I found it looked really good. And now I was trying it on again with a turtleneck and it just didn't feel the same way. But like I said, I have been more venturing into the mini skirt territory than longer maxi skirts. Maybe I'm not the only one, but I sometimes have a difficulty <laughs> perceiving my body in the way that it is. and. Sometimes I'm surprised when I'm wearing like a more of a fitted maxi skirt, I'm like, wait, I have hips, I have a booty. <laughs> um, so then I'm like, wait, I look very feminine and I feel like a fake adult. So that's also one of the reasons why I've been going back to mini skirts more again, because I feel like the longer skirts kind of make me feel, I don't know, so adult and so mature. And I don't feel that. I feel very beautiful <laughs> and I feel like these clothes don't convey the way I feel. That's what I'm trying to say. I just feel like there's a discrepancy between the clothing piece and how I feel. There we go, that was what I was trying to say. But anyway, I still think it's a beautiful skirt. I'm kind of gutted that I don't feel better in it because I do think it's really beautiful, but this is for someone else to enjoy, so I will be returning this one. If someone mentions the color red to me, this is a color I will be thinking about. This is a true red for me and this true red always looks so good on my skin tone it really brightens up my face it brightens up my very pale and ghostly complexion and i love that if you saw my another stories come shopping with me you heard me say that i really love red because for me it's really a neutral almost i really love wearing black white and red i find them so flattering on me and I find them so flattering on many people. I find red way more flattering than gray on people. Often I find gray can really, if not paired correctly, can really dull up a look. Uh, that seems to be a very unpopular opinion because I know everyone seems to love gray, but I'm, I find it a really iffy color that needs some care. For me, it's it, it's up there. It's up there with being a very versatile color. Definitely will be getting so much use out of this and I might wear this in the next few days. It's also really comfortable, which is... I, I won't ever buy anything that's not comfortable. That's If you see my videos and I say I'm buying this, I'm keeping this, it has to be comfortable because I cannot do uncomfortable. For out of the house, you can still wear something beautifully and still be comfortable. You don't have to sacrifice your style or um, your looks 
for comfort. I really don't think that's necessary. I really think we can find a place where we can do both. Maybe going for a full-on cherry red outfit is a bit too much for you and you want to start with accessories. So I have some handbag options for you. First of all, I have this beautiful handbag that I'm smitten with. But I'm not keeping it because the size is just not quite right. It also comes with a crossbody strap and I often, the majority of my handbags actually are handbags that are just both handheld and have a crossbody strap because I love versatility, I love getting the most wear out of my pieces. This area for me is too small. When you hold it under your shoulder, I just find that there's not enough room. It's just too squished in there. Um, it's not uncomfortable, but it's just not enough room for my liking. I find that this is such a beautiful bag and you can barely see it when it's under your shoulder and I find that a waste. But I do think it's a stunning bag. I do think the quality is stunning. I'm just kind of bummed that this isn't quite right. So I bought another bag hoping this one would be quite right, but it isn't. Why is it not quite right for me? First of all, this one is then too big for me. I find that this is so plain. A handbag needs to be interesting and this doesn't do it for me. It does have a little Tommy Hilfiger tag here. It doesn't come with a crossbody strap, this one. It just has this strap. It does have enough room under the shoulder. It does come up a lot lower. So I find that if you have this one under your arm, you can still see the back really quite well, which is beautiful. But it's just too plain. There's just not enough going on. And I think if this bag had a structure like this, I wouldn't be bothered by that. But also, I just... There's just the smallest little color difference between them and I prefer the one of this one. I also prefer the gold on this bag. So yeah, they're both close, but they're not quite what I'm looking for. And I'm not just going for decent. If I want to buy a bag, I really want one that's right. I don't want to just buy something that's almost there. Because I'm spending my money on, on items. I want them to be right. I want them to be loved by me and then I get excited by them. and. I'm not. Next up, keeping with the accessories, we have these really beautiful boots from Monkey. The color is perfect. I love the heel height. I love the thicker boots. I know kids and heels are everywhere, but I cannot walk on them for the life of me. For me, it's not the, the height of the heel, but the thickness. I need a thick heel. Doesn't matter how small or high it is, I can walk in it. Kids and heel, however, I just, I just can't seem to do it. I need to be able to strut. And I can't seem to do that in a tin heel. <laughs> they are too small for me. I got my usual size and unfortunately it's it's too small. I would need to size up. They're just not quite it. This coat, I have the same situation as with the other coats. I wasn't sure how this would look in real life because with this kind of fabric it can definitely be a hit or miss. But I do like it. You know, the reason why I'm saying it like this is because I was not planning on keeping both patent coats. I'm in a bit of a pickle. What do I do? Do I keep this one? Do I keep the shorter one? Or should I just say, just just keep both? Because I live in a country where it's pretty rainy all the time and I'm guaranteed to wear a coat pretty much every day in fall, winter. What I love about this coat is, of course, the length of it. I love me a long coat. It's beautiful. What's so great about a long coat is that it gives you extra warm over your bum as well as your legs. It also comes with an extra spare button, which I love to see as well. The buttons are the same color as the coat, which I really, really enjoy seeing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful coat. It does not have real pockets though. Or can you open them? I don't know. Currently it's sewn shut. I don't think you can... No, it's not a usable pocket. That's sad. But anyway, I do think it's a really wonderful coat. Should I, should I, should I keep both? Or should I just keep one of them? Just please help me in the comments down below because I can't figure this out for the life of me. And I feel like I'm gonna look at my footage over and over again and still not figure it out. So please help me figure this out. I definitely can see myself wear this a lot. Um, I, I wouldn't consider buying a piece or keeping a piece if I wouldn't get a lot of wear out of it. I'm not just buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff. I only buy stuff that I really love and I adore. Comment down below if I should keep one coat or both coats. And while you're at it, please subscribe because I probably will need that if I'm keeping both coats. Cherry Red meets a corporate chic with these pants from Hugo. Please close your zip. We're on camera. The fabric is really beautiful, really soft. 
However, I got this in my usual size and this is far too big. This is really way too big on me. You'll see it in the try on clip. It's too big on the length because it's too big on my waist so it really doesn't stay on. The very gliding fabric also doesn't help because it's already too big and it's just not staying on my body properly. On top of that, it's just not 100% what I thought it would be. The reason that I ended up purchasing these is because I have one pair of black suit pants from Kukai from years ago that I really adore and they're my favorite ever pants and they're a white leg pants with a softer fabric so ever since then I've been really looking for another white leg pants in a softer fabric and I thought these would fit the bill but it doesn't. It just doesn't feel right with me. In a try-on clip however I did combine it with a light pink turtleneck because I actually find the really interesting combination, the sherry red burgundy tones with a lighter pink. I find that it's such a beautiful combination and that's what I really want to show you styling wise that it's not just you know black white neutrals as much as I love those. You can also just add something a bit more in the color family and it really works out really well. But yeah these pants they're just far too big. Speaking about trying things and them not working Red cowboy boots. I don't know what I was thinking when I saw these. I just felt a couple mixed emotions. They were so cool. They were so interesting. They were so different. But they're they're too much. <laughs> they're too much for me. I I am not cool enough to pull these off. For sure. They are incredibly, 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 incredibly comfortable and soft very beautiful quality it also comes with a higher price point but the higher price point is worth it which is not always the case with every garment that you get every piece of clothing or accessories that you get but for this if you're willing to invest in red cowboy boots try these sometimes it's really good to go back to old favorites to see if you fall in love with them again but just like they say don't go back to your ex i'm not going back to the style of preferred jackets Right now, it's not my cup of tea. I do have a few puffer-ish looking jackets, but this is two puffer bomber jackets for me. It feels very, very teen to me. It's surprising when I put my hands in the pockets, it's kind of lined with soft fabric. So comfortable, this is so nice for winter. And it has these little cords on the inside so you can cinch it in or kind of just leave it. A bit more loose which is really nice detail also has this very high collar which is great for the cold weather if you forget your scarf at least your neck is still protected i definitely think this is a really practical and good coat to have but for me it really gives me flashbacks to when i was a teen and that's why i'm not wearing it this cap from polo club from polo ralph lauren i enjoy a cap during fall and spring. I really love wearing caps, also summer. It's just not winter. Winter is beanie time. I find that wearing accessories with your outfit can make an outfit look so much more intentional. The fashion girl is often up for sunglasses to really give a vibe to an outfit, but a cap, a hat, a beanie, it all can do so much as well to just finish off your outfit and make it look really cohesive and just tie it in together, just pull it together. This coat arrived when I already filmed the entire video, but I'm still able to put it in. It reminds me of Jeskie from season two of The Witcher, so it's kind of even more bardcore than cherry red outfits. But honestly, what is cherry red anyway? Depends on who you're asking, but it can be a wine red, a maroon, a burgundy. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this try on haul. Again, be sensible with buying trends. I really hope this video gave you some insights on whether or not to go for certain pieces, if it's worth it or not. I really hope to have helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really would love to have you back. So feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.